Hello everyone and welcome back to Observation in the last part. Things didn't go great for one of the crew members. Uh, big old storm on Saturn We're online. Okay. did some badness. I'm not entirely we sure. Some work to do if we want to speak to anyone. Not entirely sure exactly how that went down. Looks good, but the array is facing the wrong way. So, looks like to get a signal out, we're ah, going yes. to need two things. We're going to need to go and do some First, repairing. We need to adjust the array to target the other station's relative position from ours. Yes. <laughs> the physics lab may have some answer to that. Brilliant. That sounds like it's an Secondly, indoor thing. I'm all about the indoor things. Won't go anywhere without the captain's authorization code. Ah, yes. And I'm that's guessing in, we can his find that in his personal, personal bunk. EAS seven. Let me know what the authorization code is so that I can enter it into the system. Sweet, will do. You will need to Two things that don't involve yourself, going outside, I think. <laughs> if there are any new station alerts, be sure to let me know. I may be able to action some repairs now. Cool. Okay, let's have a look. Laptop over here. One, one, one. Lovely. Get me inside. Oh, there's a few. Hatch schematic we've already got, haven't we? Oh, is it? Oh, it's a UN hatch schematic, so it's a different. I guess the hatch schematics for the different, uh, like countries, bits are different. Okay, cool. Well, we've got that now. Message to cruiser. Hi everyone. I know a lot of you have been getting head up about requests from Houston and from me that have been butting into your work this past week. I just wanted to say that I'm hearing you all loud and clear, especially Josh, as he's been the loudest. <laughs> I know it's been frustrating, but we're getting to the end of it now. We'll be back on expected ESA practice soon. Really soon. You've just got to trust me. When we get through to the other side, I can maybe fill you in on what's been happening. Okay, interesting. And decryption protocol. What on earth is that? Notes for use. All standard communications between observation and ground control are automatically hardware encrypted and paired. In the event of a breakdown in hardware, or to contact local vessels, such as approaching shuttle- Oh right, and there is one approaching! Whose encryption hardware has failed, use this key to reconfigure. Each vessel carries the same key, and as such, station to craft or Houston, Houston communications should still be possible by decrypting with this key, even with hardware failures. Okay, cool. Well, I'm sure that will come in handy at some point. Life support terminal. Access denied, no biometric data detected. Fair enough. We don't have a lot of uh, biometric data going for us, that is safe to say. Okay, oh, can we attach to this? Guidance and nav navigation. Unavailable. Wonderful. Okay, where actually are we then? Uh, we are in central, okie doke. And we need to head to... I forget, are there any station alerts? Camera error in EAS 07. Emma. My cameras in is, oh, EAS, EAS 7, 7 is where, um, to initialize. where his bunk was. Yeah. Maybe the captain's bunk. Cool. Should be fixed. Try them now. Lovely. So we're looking for some codes. That laptop's done. That laptop's done. Not on these post-its. No. Oh. <laughs> that document it's just a photo of him at his graduation looking looking fly my man is that oh no that's just a mattress I thought maybe that was the number that she needs document nope a lot of random bits and bobs System linked. What have we got on here? Message for home, Sam. Morning, Tiger. I hope everything's okay down there. I just wanted 
to say good luck with the exam today. We've got something going on up here that, well, I hope I'll explain a lot about how it's been. Why I had to leave again. Tell Mum. Tell her. Tell her we'll talk soon. I love you guys. That's it, Sam. Yeah, this captain definitely had some idea of whatever's going on more than just the regular stuff. Uh, okay. We need a password to get into that. What other cameras are there? Oh, there's actually a camera down here. That's good. Document. Lovely. Marker observations. Observations of marker. What is marker? Hmm. Procedures planned. Target date remains Feb 17th. Confirm. Interesting. What's that? Graduation. That is kids graduation date or something? What was this does this wouldn't have it on it, would it? Hmm. Let's have a look around. Is kids graduation date? not going to be there. Another laptop, but we can't connect to that one. I do wish you could turn this camera just a bit faster, man. <laughs> Same picture. Oh, wait, hang on, is this? Oh, right. <laughs> We're back up here. Okay, I'm, I'm dumb. I didn't realise it was the same place. Hmm. I am unsure how we would find his graduate. Actually, no, wait. It's not his kid's graduation, it's his own graduation. How do I how do I look at this again? M Memory core, perhaps? Media? schematics will it actually be in here that's just messages there we go graduation photo 2008 lovely okay I can't believe it took me more than two seconds to realize that it was his gradu his own graduation that we'd already seen, not his kids. <laughs> uh, precursor one, sure. Select. The code is precursor one. It appears to be a mission code. Precursor one, but that's not a mission code, Sam. What the hell is precursor one? I don't know. <laughs> well, it seems to work. That's the auth code in. Okay. Lovely jubbly. So that's all good now. So, our other thing was... Find rescue station coordinates in astrophysics. RU04. Okay. There's RU04. Oh, fuck me. Okay, that made me jump. Hello, Mr. Hexagon. You have returned. Star Golf 
Uh, moon and Earth. That's not really a star. What should we call that one? <laughs> it reminds me of the clock on the, uh, the Teletubbies, if any of you saw that. Let's go with Teletubbies. Star, uh, golf, moon on Earth. Wait, did I call the left-hand one golf last time? I may have done. Shouldn't call them the same thing. Okay, what's next? In this magical Simon says, infinity, cube, multiples, or I guess that's kind of like a quantum thing maybe. Super positioning. Let's call it quantum. Uh, infinity, cube, quantum. Last, but by no means least. F initial golf. Pyramid. New golf. Teletubbies. Initial golf. Uh, pyramid. New golf. Teletubbies. Nailed it? Okay. Seems legit. Uh, astrophysics terminal. Near field server offline and far field server offline. Send data to comms systems. Coordinates available in communications. What? Oh, <laughs> we have to actually turn them on. <laughs> Makes sense. Loading a near field image. Wow, that's uh, very so near that I have no clue what it's even showing. What about the far field? Yeah, not much different. <laughs> Coordinates available in communications. Okay. Is that a different room, I guess? Have we done these laptops before? I feel like we've been here before. Or is communications just a... Oh, communications just a tab. Array, coordinates, and authorization key required. Incoming records? Nothing? Hmm. Okay. Find the rescue station coordinates in astrophysics, which is wh where we are. And then set the coordinates. Okay, so the coordinates are here somewhere. Unless it is in that thing and I just have to pan around more. Hello, what's this? Hatch can... Oh, is it just glitching through the wall? I mean, sure. <laughs> Documents, can I get into any of them? Does not appear to be the case. Okay, I'm going to guess I'm missing something to do with this then. Do I just need to find something? Oh, hang on. That? <laughs> 
10, 11, 28, 69, 58, 32. I'm not going to remember this. Oh, wait, no, I just send data to comm systems. Wait, no. I don't know if that would have done it. 10, 11, 28, 69, 58, 32. Oh yeah, okay, it has done it. So I assume I need to manually change these. Oh no, this is where we're wanting to move it to. That's where it currently is, right? So this probably... Hmm. Doesn't do anything, does it? Hang on, 28. Oh, that goes even higher. Oh, okay, you can hold it down. Phew. <laughs> 69, 58. Oh, lovely. And 32. Broadcast. That's not doing anything. Incoming. No. Hmm. Definitely missing something to do with this whole thing. I feel I just I feel like it's not. That's that's been my main image with this. My main image. <laughs> I see Farfield image and I say my main image. I meant issue. My main issue with this game is definitely the fact that it just it gives you very vague objectives and then you're sort of just supposed to figure it out on your own, I guess. But I don't. That's. I'm sure that works for some people. Doesn't work for me. Okay, so there's multiple of these things. Like, what? <laughs> this star? Communication. Current direction is there. Array direction. Do we need to alter this then? Seventeen. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I don't know. It's very trial and error. Which just kind of feels like it's wasting the player's time to me. I really hate trial and error stuff in games. Not my jam. Uh, 19. Broadcast. Can I, can I click anything? <laughs> sure can't. Okay. Please repeat your previous request. Tell me what the fuck to do. We need to adjust the array to target the other station's relative position from ours. We've got the code. Now we just need a target destination. Astrophysics should help. We need to adjust the array to target the other station's relative position from ours, was that? Which would surely be a far field thing if we were able to see this other station. But is it going to be something that's easy to spot? Christ, this is a big map, isn't it? I'm certainly not spotting it. Just got to weave back and forth until you find something. I feel like this can't be it. Surely. Surely this can't be what they expect you to do. Hang on, that looks a little bit yellow compared to everything else. But you can't even don't get um, get a reading from it, okay. Oh man, this game. 
this game. Really is something special. Okay, it's clearly not this. I just, I don't know. Please repeat your previous instruction. I just don't know. First, we need to adjust the array to target the other station's relative position from ours. To target the other We've stations. Got the code. Now we just need a target destination. Relative position. Astrophysics from should ours. help. But there isn't. We can't see it. There's no. We haven't got a reading of where it is. Doesn't seem like we can just. look around and find it on that thing. That doesn't seem to be happening. Station functionality review. I have performed the first station functionality review as scheduled. Now that the mission has been active for one full calendar month, I must be candid here. I believe the committee would be disappointed with these results if they weren't already aware. I've liaised with the crew prior to launch and again since, and the general consensus is that the station does not have the required equipment and functions required for allocated missions. The expectations were that this was a flagship station with state-of-the-art hardware, but what we're seeing in the new sections of the ship is very bare. The universal ring is barely functional but beyond providing access. These rooms are lacking in equipment and it's clear corners have been cut. I would ask RCSA to liaise with the committee EASA and CASA in order to better understand why the station is so poorly equipped compared to the spec we had trained for. Are we expecting additional equipment to be shipped up after an undisclosed delay? If not, then... Then, then, either we've been badly let down by our friends in the committee, or that they want to keep the cost of this mission as low as possible. I'm happy to go on the record with these statements, as the facts contained within this review are sufficient evidence to the claim. Okay. Well, that tells me absolutely nothing of importance. Ugh. Oh, you're killing me, game. You're really you're killing me here. What do you want me to do? It's just, there's just absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Incoming signal recordings don't exist. Broadcast. You need the coordinates to broadcast. I can't find any coordinates. I guess let's try the upper half, because I kind of started from the middle and went down, I guess. Oh, God. Let's just keep panning. Just keep panning, just keep panning. What do we do? We pan, pan. Isn't this exciting and fun? Man. Like, do these, do these lines mean anything? What do they mean? I have absolutely no idea. You can't get any reference numbers from them, so... Maybe... Nothing? <laughs> but then why do they exist? Feels like there should be a point to them, but again, we haven't been told any point. We've be just been given a objective of putting the coordinates for the station without any way of knowing how to find the coordinates for the station. Absolutely infuriating. Don't know how far down this goes. Oh, that's the edge. Oh, hello, what's this? A big old line. Some kind of box? Five? What does that mean? If 
I if I click this, it's inside the box. Is that good? Is that what we're wanting? Fifteen, twenty-four, fifty-two, thirteen. Thirty-seven and five. I don't even know what they want me to do. Like, if I get the correct coordinates, does it just does something just happen on its own, or like? <laughs> oh God, I'm this close to just googling it because this is just a massive waste of time. In fact, I think I will Google what the hell you're supposed to do here. Sorry about that. I hate having to Google things. It really pisses me off when games do stuff like this, but uh, can't be helped. So I will see you in a sec. Okay. Apparently, it really is just that you're supposed to scan these images until you find a shadow that looks like the broadcast array, which is apparently in the bottom right. And I guess I just didn't notice that it looked like a... Because I, I definitely saw the shadow. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I guess it kind of does. Oh, and then it says Object Data Rescue Station. If you're here, it doesn't say it. If you're around... It says it there. If you're around here... That is a very small point you have to hit for it to come up with the correct thing. And the fact you have two near and far field, it's only on near, and they're both massive. Oh, boy. What a puzzle, am I right, guys? Excellent stuff. Truly. They really put a lot of thought and care into this, you can tell. My god. How did this... I, it just feels like this game was never tested by anyone. It really does. 14, 48. 11... And 11. Ah! Oh, it's a miracle. Broadcast. No? Select. Yes. Broadcast. External. Broadcast. Broadcast from Emma. Brilliant. Thank Christ for that. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <sighs> okay. Here goes. This is Emma Fisher on board Observation. Please respond. This is Observation. I have visual. Please respond. If you can hear me... Please let me know, in some way. It's, um, it's just me left, and Sam. I'm not sure how we ended up here. There was a massive power outage, some noise, and then we ended up here. I'm assuming you know all this if you're here to pick us up. You reckon they discovered Repeat. you were gone and just this hopped over Fisher to Saturn real quick? Observation. Then that shit Please take years? Respond. Relocating. Sam, that alarm. Is that an incoming comms message? It must be the rescue station. Uh, that's it can't be ground control. The it's, life support terminal. Quick. Oh. In the communications tab. Incoming. Brilliant. Ooh, two. Encrypted message requires a compatible decryption protocol. Sweet, we've already got one. It's encrypted. See what you can do, Sam. And two. Data combination now available. I can't back out of this until it finishes playing, apparently. There we go. Ooh, pardon me. 
Right. Gotta be something new because we looked at all of these. This one? Nope. This one? Nope. This one? Yes. And this one? Yes. And this one? Wait, that's the start one. What? Oh, and the decryption protocol, that's why it's green. Duh. This is Josh Ramon on board the... I don't know where I am. Oh my god, it's Josh! <laughs> Happy days? How, how is he? If you can hear me, he called to the other station. He's trying. He's trying. Is he talking about Sam? I knew he wasn't dead. I just knew it. I guess he must have made it across after we saw May when the rescue station arrived. Oh, God, thank God. Sam, I'm heading to the airlock. Okie doke. Get in your sphere. You're coming too. Get in my sphere. Where is I the nearest saw a movie sphere? Once where they had to jump from one spaceship to another. They use the explosive decompression of a module to throw themselves across. Why bother? <laughs> you can just aim and gently push off. And I can honestly say, now that I'm in that situation, there's no way in hell I would trust my trajectory to an explosion. <laughs> so that's where you come in. Uh, I can't remember the... Wait, where does it say Emma is? There she is. Oh, and there's my sphere. Lovely. Okay. Well, we're going to be jumping to a new station in the next part. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. Hi there, Emma. And I will see you back here for more. Thanks for watching. See you then.